Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Hash Days 2012, Switzerland's premier security conference. Here to welcome you, representing the committee and the advisory board are Pascal Kocher, Candid Wurst and Stefan Friedli. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. More coffee? <laughs> I do my thing, thanks a lot. One little announcement, you might have seen it. First of all, welcome to Hash Days. Very good. Can I do my thing? Okay, thanks. No, I can't. Ah. Let's all stand up and dance. <laughs> Nice music. Muss ich das zuerst booten? Ah, welche Seite? On. <laughs> Actually, it's fairly easy. It has about three buttons. <laughs> On, off, next. We are sold out. Currently, there are some spaces left in here, that's because only 70% were able to check in until 9 o'clock in the morning. I know for hackers it's, it's fairly hard to get up early in the morning, but it's the third hash days and we're already sold out. It's really amazing. I would like to thank, of course, the whole team, everybody in the yellow shirts who helped throughout the years, everybody in the blue shirt who helps today and tomorrow, and of course you. Without you it wouldn't be possible. And, of course, without the sponsors, it would not be possible. We have gold sponsors, Fortinet, Ball, and Swisscom. Silver sponsors, Atrilla, Checkpoint and Dimension Data, Ernst & Young, Kaspersky. Academic sponsor, Facebook, and supporting organizations, B-Sides, London, and ISC Square. Now, who are we, anyway? I know, for the people of you who are here the third time, we're like a beer-drinking uh, group of consultants. <laughs> now, but who is DEFCON Switzerland? DEFCON Switzerland is a Swiss associ association founded in 2008, so uh, even more than three years. We had a little time getting the first has days up and running. What are our goals? The goal is the technical um, knowledge transfer. All members and founders are from the Swiss IT security scene. Oh, let's call it professionals, of course. And we have a monthly meeting, it's called Beer on Tuesday, that's why we call it uh, the beer drinking um, security professionals. It's in Zurich, Bern and Geneva, and we have a yearly conference and that's where you're at right now. Hash days by numbers, it's the third time I'm doing this. <laughs> um, for you to be clear, the numbers in the brackets in the back, the first one is last year, the second one is the year before. And the fat number is actually the current year, so number of CFP entries, we were stable at 50. Total internal emails, we doubled to 50,000. We're going green. You see it also in the paper printed. We halved <laughs> the paper printed from 200 kilograms to 100 kilograms. That's why we have su such a lot of blue shirt people carrying around paper. <laughs> Sponsoring contacted a lot of work during the year 221 sponsors. And now, <laughs> to the fun part, time to brute force the suitcase lock. Uh, one person in here had a problem opening his suitcase. He forgot his lock number, so he had about 30 minutes to open the three-digit suitcase lock, so it's, it's fairly doable. Um, the next line, items confi confiscated at customs would have helped. It's, it's actually a picking set and a picking gun, <laughs> uh, two picking sets and a picking gun, so, um, but apparently it's back here. The third thing is not on here. Um, who is making sports? Who is playing sports? Okay, now for the next question, you don't have to raise your hand. Who is playing lacrosse in Zurich? If you're playing lacrosse in Zurich, you might want to change your email password. <laughs> you just popped up on the wall of Wasted Wisdom. Just go have a look, change your email password, ask your provider to use SSL, uh, and make an encrypted connection. 
Thanks a lot. I'll see you later. <laughs> I hope tomorrow. All right. Good morning, everyone. So, well, I see still needing some coffee in there. Um, you, we, are, we also got Club Mate. So for those not into coffee but still want a coffee in shop, go there. There's a fridge, uh, ice cold uh, Club Mate. And I'm going to bore you a little bit with the badges, um, which you probably all received. There's a few ones actually carrying the whole evolution on their proud of you there, um, with the ones from the last and the before last year. So we had a small kind of increase, um, and we ended up with the acrylic and the Arduino board. Because we thought, well, first of all, it's a lot of work because we're doing them uh, back in my home, actually manually assemble all of them, which takes quite some time. And we thought the Arduino is actually a nice way to be able to easily extend it, because last year, People were playing with it, but not as much as we hoped. So we thought, now it's really easy. And I'll mention there's going to be an Arduino workshop, actually, which really sets you um, the base ground of how to access it, how to extend it, and how to play with it. So in the process of it, um, yes, um, I played a little bit with laser cutters. Well, actually, kind of remote, because the laser cutter was in the US. So I got sending pictures and getting the results back and forth. Um, so I had to learn that it's not always what you send you will get, so it's not the WYSIWYG. Um, as you see, some of the holes were not really cut through, some of the stuff is just missing. Um, so yes, it's a lot of fun, uh, but takes time as well. So then we started with um, 250 Arduino boards, uh, fresh from China. Um, add a few of the laser cut um, acrylic bases, uh, which you had to rub off all the paper um, sticky glue on the back side. Uh, that's why you got all my fingerprints uh, all over. <laughs> yes, I know I should clean them, but uh, sorry for that. Please don't misuse them. Um, so I screwed up uh, the Arduino board, got two LEDs. Uh, you see the speakers should have blue and green one. The normal attendees have double red ones, and there are a few special ones with red, green ones. Um, so yeah. And obviously you can change them as well if you want. We needed a few things to power it up, so we got about 400 9 volt batteries. They will run about 14 hours, so if you forget to well switch them off during night or you're really in the need of a night light because you can't sleep if it's really dark, uh, do so, but uh, rather change to the USB, which kind of overpowers it, so you're not losing the power on the battery. We do have a few spare ones, but need a good explanation to get one. Just to and yeah, ended up with the badges. So as always, there is a hidden puzzle, which involves the badge and the booklet and so on. Um, so we do have prizes for the first one. Just read in the booklet uh, what you have to do. Uh, this time, um, it's actually a six-character password. Uh, no guessing this time. Uh, don't send me all the six-character variations, no. <laughs> That's not, if you send more than 10, I'm going to disqualify you. Um, although social engineering is allowed, so feel free to get me some drinks tomorrow at the party. It worked last year, so uh, yeah. And yeah, if you flash it, you actually flush the way uh, the first clue, so just be aware of that. And as I mentioned, you can extend it. So Jan Munch, who's doing the Arduino workshop in the Hash Center, actually already extended his one. So nice kind of LED scrolling text uh, with a few tilt sensors and everything. You can have alcohol breathalyzer tests and everything. So whatever you need, build it. Um, so if you're new to Arduino, Relax, it's not as bad, keep calm. Do Gangnam Style if you want, but um, there are two Arduino workshops, two mini workshops. Um, there's a whiteboard where you can sign up, uh, space is limited, um, but if you have just normal problems setting it up, go there and they uh, hit you up. There's also stuff to uh, buy, so if you have the extension sensors and so on. So have a look there, because there's another contest actually where you can modify your batch and you can win a Raspberry Pi. Um, for the best modification that we get. Last but not least, there's a few other raffles. Um, so for the feedback forms, which you should have received by checking in, please fill them in and hand them tomorrow back. There's a uh, feedback uh, box in the, well, close to the wall of wasted wisdom. Uh, there's a few interesting prizes to win there as well. 
Excel has a nice Android reversing challenge. Uh, she's going to explain a little bit about that in her talk later on. So check that one out. And obviously, the batch extension, as I already mentioned. And with that, I'm going to hand over to Steve. Hi. Oh yeah, apparently that's a thing now. Good morning. Yeah, it's, it still works, okay. So yeah, there are a couple of more things. As you see, we have three people on the opening ceremony this year, so I'm the third one, and there are only like seven to go, so you should be good. No, seriously, I'm the last one, so don't worry about that. So um, first thing first, um, I know a lot of you use Twitter, and we like that. And we would like you to tweet about the conference, what you like, what you don't like. Um, give us feedback, give the speakers feedback. But whenever you do that, please use the hashtag hash hash days. I know it sounds redundant and it's kind of repulsive to some of you because it's redundant. But if you just use hash days, then uh, things get mixed up with other weird stuff. So um, please adhere to that. Um, you can also follow us at hash days for uh, schedule changes, stuff like that. We don't have a lot of changes this year, but it might be useful at some point. We'll, we'll also communicate those changes in the room, so don't worry. Uh, if you have questions, um, you can get answers there if you're really, really shy and don't want to talk to us, so that's okay. No hard feelings. Most of us showered uh, this morning, so it's not that much of a problem, but still, Twitter's there for you. So um, I mentioned some schedule changes, and there's actually only one or two, depending on how you want to look at it. And we had to switch the marks. So um, on the printed schedules, uh, Mark Ruerf is listed as speaking in the morning, and uh, Mark van Hauser, how is will be speaking in the afternoon? It's actually the other way around. So IPv6 uh, will be from t uh, 11.20, and Mark's firewall review Mark's firewall view will be uh, from 4.30 in this afternoon. Um, yeah, so let's get to the interesting stuff. As you know, um, every year at Hash Days, we try to make a little social event. We call it social event, so the people in the audience that work for governments or big-ass corporations don't have to tell your employees that you're going to a party. So... This year is actually a little bit special because we have some changes. Um, who's been to the party last year? Raise your hands if you're awake enough to do that. Okay, that's cool. So we are at the same place as last year, which is basically you go out of the hotel, you walk 20 steps and you're there. So you don't have a lot of excuses not to come. And this time we have the whole location to ourselves. No uh, fancy nurses this time, but... I know, I'm sorry. We kind of had to make changes because hacks, hackers don't always mix well with, you know, people. So, uh, <laughs> so to make up for it, we, um, we want to make something a little bit special this year. And um, we um, optimized hash days a little bit this year, so we had a little leftover money and we also talked to our friends at IOActive. So we actually have a decent stock of free drinks for you guys. I mean, free as in you can get them for free at the bar over there. I don't know if that came across. <laughs> They're free. <laughs> okay, so here's how this one is going to work. Um, to get into the party, you will need one of these little fancy, really shiny and fucking ugly wristbands. And you can get those starting from, I think we'll start to put them up at the registration desk maybe an hour from now, so just pick yours up. So uh, all the speakers and all the people from the committee have those fancy bands uh, that say VIP for whatever reason. And those are the people who can get free drinks. <laughs> so, um, this is your chance to talk to some really good people from the industry. I mean, not us, but the, the speakers. And actually get them to buy you drinks. <laughs> does, does that sound good or acceptable to you? Okay. 
So yeah, we'll see you there. Um, we also have a DJ. Things should be good. If you need anything, come up to us and we'll make it happen. So without further ado, I would like to introduce our keynote speaker for this year. Uh,